Hi everyone, welcome to Forensic Science Part 2. We're doing footprint casts. What we're gonna need today, what do we need? We're gonna need some plaster of Paris, like this. It's gonna be the main thing that you need to make your mold. You're gonna need a container that can fit your foot and some dirt, uh, around like two inches, that'd be great. You're gonna need, uh, I guess, like a cup, like a measuring, something to measure the amount of plaster of Paris. Uh, a stick or a jumbo popsicle stick is great. You're gonna also need like some like oil, something like greasy. Uh, this is like olive oil and like a little spray bottle. And some water. And uh, let's get going. So, what we're gonna start out with here is we're going to look at, oops, sorry about that. We're gonna look at this here. And we're gonna just make sure that it's as flat as possible. And we're just gonna kind of smooth this all out. So I'm gonna smooth it out like this. And once we have it relatively smooth, now, uh, oops, I guess, yeah, now we're gonna step into it. Uh, so I'm gonna get my foot. I'm gonna step in here. Okay, make a nice firm press. Once you have a firm press, take it out nicely. Okay, so now we have that footprint, and now we have to make a mold. So I'm gonna just put this aside for now. Get our plaster of Paris, and I'm gonna get a little cup, and I'm gonna kind of fill this up like all the way. I would say this is around two cups when we're talking about uh, cooking. So I'm just gonna kind of fill this up. Way, I'm gonna say this is maybe around a cup, one cup and a half when it comes to cooking terms. Okay, we have this, one cup and a half. Okay, now, oh, I forgot to mention, but you're gonna need a plastic bag of some kind, a Ziploc bag. So I'm gonna put this into my Ziploc bag. Boom. And now, we're gonna have to mix this with some water. So I'm gonna put maybe a third of a cup. You could always put more. Uh, maybe, a, uh, yeah, a th around a third. Like that, yeah, and if it needs more, you need more, but I'm gonna put this in, and then I'm just gonna knead it, make sure it gets nice. Print. If it gets over the shoe print, that's also fine. But we're gonna put it in here. Like there we go. Pretty good. All right. And we're gonna have to wait like around 30 minutes for this to all solidify and everything. Um, while you're waiting, or you could just make sure everything's kind of like smooth. If yours is like a little bit more solid than this, that's kind of, that's fine. But we're just gonna smooth it out a little bit. Okay, at this part when it's solidifying a little bit more, you can start to write your initials on it so that you know that it's yours. So I'm just gonna vaguely put R, B inside. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes later. Uh, let's see what we got here. A little bit of dirt got on it, but not really that important. Anyway, as you can see, not bad. My initials are here, RB. Uh, let's see how this looks. Wow. I forgot to put the oil on it, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to take off all this dirt. But we can see we have this kind of footprint mold here. And on the bottom of it, we should be able to see the patterns of the feet.
All right. So you can see uh, it did crack in half, sadly, so be careful with it. But you can see all the details of the shoe, how big the shoe print is, and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. Uh, enjoy and be careful.